afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And guys, I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna show you one before it even touches the lot. I just personally picked up this 2015 Winnebago Touring Coach ERA 170X. And um, I picked it up, drove it about 80 miles here. Drove it over mountains. This is a little diesel Class B motorhome, guys. Got 52,000 miles. Runs and drives great. So I stopped here at the house, grabbed me a sandwich late lunch, and thought I'd just uh, go ahead and film it in the driveway before I even get to the lot. So here it is, guys. Now, guys, for those of you who are not familiar with the Winnebago ERA, these are a bigger Class B. They're still a Class B. They're not a B plus, but they're 24 feet long. And I'm gonna point out one thing about it. I, I picked it up for some folks. Uh, they've owned it for a while, but they are, it does have aftermarket wheels on it and they are missing the wheel centers. And I'm gonna try to find them. I'm gonna do my best to find them, but I can't promise I can find them. Um, so please keep that in mind. Don't crucify me if they're not available anymore, but I will do my best to find them. They were missing when the previous owners bought this used and they, used it for the past few years and decided to go on to something different 52,000 miles these things get incredible fuel mileage is on a mercedes-benz sprinter 3500 chassis with the uh, uh mercedes-benz six-cylinder diesel engine 188 horsepower to 5,000 pound tow capacity these things get 18 to 20 miles a gallon you're not gonna find a 24 foot motor home anywhere in the world that gets the fuel mileage this thing does. They did add a, a, a extra storage pod on the back which you can keep, you can uh, you can get rid of. It's entirely up to you guys. It just adds a couple of feet to the length. Uh, it does swivel out of the way. So if you wanna open your back doors up to get to the rear, it's fine. You got a 2.5 Onan propane generator running right now with 34 hours on it you know most van people don't use generators that's why you see so very low hours on them um, because you've got dash air dash heat furnace all that stuff that you can run without a generator you know looking around it guys this thing is just pretty much impeccable except you've got a little bit of clear coat on the stripes starting to do its thing right there. It's got good Firestone tires on it. And if I just absolutely had to pick it to death, you do have some cloudy headlights, which you can get those. In fact, I may have a guy that can do that. I'll have to ask him and see. You do have an awning, I believe it's power. And I'm gonna tell you from personal, I personally drove this van about 80 miles over, over mountain too. This thing has got all kinds of power, guys smooth man these mercedes benz are smooth and this is the one or the 70x and this is the four seat touring edition so you can actually carry four adults or what i like is you can actually put car seats in this one these are actually frame mounted seats you can put car seats in not many motor homes you can do that guys but this is one of them so you can put car seats in here You've got a screen door right here if you want to, you know, if you were boot, if you were parked somewhere and you want to leave your generator off, um, you let ventilation in. The back door opens up. Even the back door has a screen. Let's look inside. It does have a table that sets up right here, and all four seats do swivel, so that you can uh, use it for eating service for four people. Now, officially, it does not make a bed. Officially. However, if you can uh, build you a frame out of some wood, a little custom built frame, I'm sure you could rig up some kind of bed. You can use these front seats. Up here in the front, got the ERA mat still in it. Now there's no check engine lights, 52,847 miles. The only light on is because I got that uh, door open. It's got the Mercedes-Benz transmission. Guys, the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter diesel was designed with a practical 500,000 mile service life. 
it's got 52,000 miles so in other words you take care of this thing you maintain it for fix it as things go wrong over the years literally you'll never wear this little van out uh, it does have the optional screen or a privacy screen that goes across the windshield so when you're parked at night you've got curtains that go down the side you've got your screen that goes across the front for privacy or I should say shade not screen and that's going to give you a uh, uh, that's going to give you a lot of privacy and still have full use of your cab shorter driving of course um, does have the map navigation and it is a Bluetooth stereo stereo does sound great backup camera all that stuff's good a dash air will run you out of here they did add a tire pressure monitoring system and it does work um, so far everything I've touched on this thing works generator fires right up AC in the back fires right up once the, once the generators go in Jensen CD DVD stereo it runs to your TV and this is actually one of the very few class B vans me at six foot four I can stand straight up in without hitting my head I love that guys you know this is a van that you can use for camping for touring for traveling uh, this is something you can put two or three couples in and just to travel not even spend the night in um, you get great fuel mileage very in a comfort of incredible comfort you got your own built-in bathroom your own kitchen uh, generator i mean you can do so much with a van like this guys books and manuals are in here this is i mean i we i haven't done it i hadn't even had this at the lot yet what you're looking at is is is, is in the rough as an rv dealer can show you an rv because this is exactly how i bought it three or excuse me four cubic foot uh rv refrigerator freezer and it runs off of propane electric or uh battery and it's on electric right now because i've had the generator running since i left and it's cold generators running 36 hours now um monitor levels all work you've got the six gallon dsi water heater it's also an electric water heater there's your battery disconnect switch furnace controls it is a power awning awning light forgot to turn that on sorry about that microwave convection oven two burner stove top you've got your little hideaway sink right here corian countertops i mean these are about as nice as you can get without getting into an airstream and guys have you priced any motorhome with a mercedes van chassis any used motorhome right now guys is a hundred thousand dollars in a mercedes van chassis because there is a two-year wait for any new motorhome built on a mercedes van chassis because of the chip shortage and they're started about two hundred thousand dollars brand new for anything with a mercedes benz i've got this for 79.9 guys and nada is over ninety one thousand dollars let me flash that up real quick and uh so you can see guys i've got probably the best deal in the country on a low mileage class b sprinter van it's a winnebago to boot so uh do have a tv back here and it's hooked to the i believe it's hooked to the dvd player up front in the back you've got a forward facing sofa and this is set up for daytime use uh you do have a switch right here uh to make it's a power sofa and you can fold it down like this and it's a full-size bed and i'm gonna try to show this to you just as a mock-up this is not actually one you'd want to lay on just yet there is a table that's underneath this right here that sits right here and then you put this cushion on this side folds over and again this is a mock-up because i'm not putting the table down this is just for demonstration purposes so if you lay on it it's going to collapse but if you've got the table right here it braces that cushion and you've got a king size bed now how cool is that a king size bed in a small motor home that can get up to 20 miles a gallon and when you get up in the morning push a button you're ready to face the day all leather furniture 
flip that over and you're good to go it does not get any easier than that and let me tell you something guys the air conditioner in this thing <coughs> it's a coleman mock will run you out of here cup holders on each side um dane uh, you've got the uh not the day night shades you've got these easy touch shades blackout shades you just pull them down and pull them up and all the windows it don't get any easier than that guys and the windows are tinted so during the daytime unless you just you've got a peeping tom that's got their face right up against their windows with their hands cupped around their eyes and even then they're just going to see shadows they're not going to see much in here so somebody has to really want to uh see in here to see in here during the day um let's look at the bathroom got to show the bathroom you know unlike the road treks because this is a bigger van it's actually got a fully self-enclosed bathroom you open this up and you know bathrooms and vans are really not huge by no stretch of the imagination and honestly guys this of course it's a wet bath like any van i mean if this thing had a separate shower the shower would be so small it'd be useless at least this one you can actually sit on the commode and you've got a shower curtain you can sit there and take a shower with relative comfort uh for a small motor home i mean what's more important guys something a bathroom that you spend a few minutes in every day or uh, I would want a smaller bathroom that I spend a few minutes a day in a bigger living space that I spend hours in a day. So you got to prioritize your space for how long you're going to spend in it. But still, it's very comfortable and a lot bigger than most Class Bs as far as the bathroom area. Of course, you got a soap, shampoo dispenser, all that stuff. So guys, I'm I'm gonna take it to the lot, uh, see if we can get some of those wheel centers. We'll get it washed. Uh, we'll get the cleaning crew in here, clean the inside of it up a little bit for you, even though it doesn't really need much. And uh, we'll get a price stone on the windshield, get it on the lot. But hey, I just wanted to show it to you. Thought it'd be something interesting. You know, I've been doing these videos since 2010. I've never really showed you one before it actually hit the lot. But there's a first time for everything, guys. I thought I'd have a little fun today, get out. Uh, this opportunity came up. I wanted to get out for a little bit, kind of break up being in the office all day, and well, here it is. 799 Haggle Free Firm. We guarantee, uh, you know, we guarantee generator to run, put out. We guarantee refrigerator to get cold, roof air to get cold, plumbing system, which we pretty much guarantee all your major stuff on this thing, and I can't imagine anything. The folks we got this from, they, they were so particular. Their, their house was spotless. I don't really think you're going to have an issue with this van. I mean, by all means, come down, look at it yourself, and by all means, hire a third-party inspection service. You're it, you're not going to have an issue with this van. You know, there's certain ones that I just know this, just from knowing the talking to the previous owners and seeing where they live, and this is one of them, guys. I mean, if I was going to buy this myself or keep it, I, I wouldn't even check it out. I'd just take it and start using it. Load my stuff up and start using it. That's how confident I feel about it. But that's just me, guys. Come look at it for yourself. Be your own judge. But thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Hit that subscribe button, RBs with Big Bo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I know Class Bs are not for everybody. Uh, but this is pretty much the king of the class B's a Mercedes Sprinter You know with fuel prices like they are this is the most fuel efficient motor home you can get for the size This is perfect. Like I said a very versatile vehicle. It can be a camping vehicle a traveling vehicle you Say your car's in the shop for a week or two get repaired. Why rent a car drive the van? You're getting 18 to 20 miles a gallon <laughs> Why not drive the van? Going for day trips drive the van going from vacation traveling to to the beach and going to stay in a hotel need something to travel on the interstate in drive the van want to camp drive the van i mean you can use this van for literally a variety of uses instead of just as an rv so it's a a true multi-purpose vehicle uh, i mean you can sit two or three people back here comfortably four up front 
I mean, you know, casino runner, cross country trip vehicle. I mean, the fuel mileage can't be beat. You certainly can't beat the comfort of having all this stuff with you. The bathroom, the kitchen, the generator, 110 power, TVs, anything you want, you've got. Onboard water tanks and, and, and all that, guys. You know, I mean, wow. I mean, this is, this is the, like I said, it's the ultimate road trip van or camping van. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We do have financing available with approved credit, and we offer nationwide delivery for $1.50 a loaded mile. Uh, come out, visit with us. You won't, you'll be happy you did. Uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I really appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Smash me that thumbs up. You want to help support my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of my almost 34,000 subscribers. Stay tuned for some more videos, and uh, don't know if I'll do another one today, but definitely we'll do some tomorrow. And uh, let me get this on back to the lot and get this thing cleaned up and on the lot for sale. Call before coming to look. Make sure it's available. If you're coming a long distance, you probably want to leave a deposit. This is not going to last long, guys. Thanks again for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. And we do take trade-ins. Thanks again. Give us a call with any questions. See you soon.